I'm Amy Aisma. I'm a proud Subic volunteer, now SBMA chairman and administrator. One of the reasons why I came back is, I guess it's a way of, you know, relieving what I had because being a Subic volunteer is one of the best times of my young adult life. And I thought it's a chance to relieve that or continue that uh, now in the next, in the third, I guess, in the third phase of my life of uh, trying to give back to where I came from. So I remember sitting in the sitting in the gallery of the Ateneo Law School in one of the class debates when everybody was saying, kick out the Americans. And I had to stand up and say, it's easy for you to say that the Americans leave because you're all rich kids here in Manila. But I am somebody who lives there. And one way or another, my parents are dependent. We are all dependent with the Subic Naval Base. Um, I cannot go to school if the American base pulls out. I cannot eat when the American base pulls out. And mayroon pa akong kapatid na mas bata sa akin na who's just, who's not, who just, I think in high school or fresh out of, parang first year high school lang. So, what will happen to us? So, before you go out there lambasting the Americans, you have to, you have to realize that there are actual people, real warm bodies, na hindi stati this statistic have faces and have lives, have children. And so what will happen to them? What will happen to us? Uh, Siyempre, ako at the time, I was a young law graduate. And um, the push for an autonomous region of uh, Greater Olonga po is something that caught my attention. And uuwi naman ako habang naghihintay ng bar. I figured I will invest my time in helping out on the moving of the of Argo and or uh, what we now know as the Subic Bay Freeport. So I decided to go to the office of uh, then Chairman Richard Gordon. I didn't have an appointment. I remember Sandra Ekelnir uh, uh, telling me I cannot wait, but I did anyway. So I waited the whole day when Chairman Gordon uh, finally uh, had no choice but to talk to me. He asked me if he, I want to join his team. So when I when he said join his team, kasi ako yung initialing na imagine ko dapat pupunta ako sa research, pupunta ako sa legal department. So he asked me to be his first lady EA. So I was an executive assistant. Um, to uh, Chairman Gordon, which was far from what I expected. Uh, that pivotal time that I spent here in Subic when I was a volunteer is what molded my work ethic, how I valued hard work, how I value time, and how I value other people's time, and how I value love for country and love for others. Uh, because there's nothing like living it, vis-a-vis -vis saying it. Napaka-importante nung walking the talk. Madaling magsabing magmalasakit, pero mahirap gawin. So, of course, it helped a lot that uh, then Chairman Gordon just kept on talking about malasakit every day. And uh, kept on you know, talking to us and visioning with us on what his plans are and what his dreams are. Not just for Subic, but for the country. Um, it is something that inspired us all. It was not work in the park, believe me. Um, you know, we traveled with the senator um, extensively. Senator Gordon was invited to speak in a conference in Korea on volunteerism. I remember. Uh, that's International Association for Volunteer Effort. So Peanut and I and Edgar uh, went to Korea with the boss. They went on a meeting with a prospective investor. Na iwan ako dun sa speaking engagement. Kasi ako yung magsasabi na, oh boss, malapit na. Ako yung nag-advance ako sa, sa speaking engagement. And ang problema, si boss na yung magsasalita. Wala pa siya. And it was so hard to explain that we have to wait. Uh, because remember, this is a time na walang app na magta-translate. So, 
napilitan na kong umakyat sa stage in an international conference to speak on volunteering. So you can imagine that was my first taste of speaking in public without preparation. So I did. It was easy because the topic was volunteerism and, and, and I was living it myself at that time. And, um, yeah. and then halfway through that, the, the chairman arrived. So I have to turn over the, the, the speech to him. And ito na lang yung natatandaan ko sa speech ko na yon, na parang there's no other person who can tell you this story and I don't even fit into his shoes. May I introduce you, uh, our chairman? So that's the only thing I remember. But I do remember the fear that I had to go up that stage because I didn't have a choice. Hindi ko na ma-explain dun sa mga Koreano na I cannot go up. That was my first taste for public speaking in a big crowd like that. Uh, a first taste of unprepared public speaking for that matter. Si Senator Gordon kasi naghahanap. Naghahanap ng tao, naghahanap ng dokumento. Kaya yung EA bag, dumami yun ang dumami eh. Nagsimula yung EA bag, folder lang yun eh. Hahanapin niya yung World Bank letter. Dapat ready ka. Parang in the morning, pagising ni boss, iniisip niya, ano kaya ang hindi nila dala? <laughs> I remember distinctly, kami ni Peds, isang folder lang yun kasi nagsimula yun dun sa Argo Bill, tapos um, sa Master Plan, and then uh, again, yung World Bank letter, tapos pictures ni Margaret Thatcher. Hanggang dumami na siya ng dumami, tapos merong lumabas na article sa New York Times, tapos may lumabas na as in it balloon, and of course, we started bringing the EA maleta because now we also have to bring the biggest shoes in Asia. We also have to bring a crane from Ritchie Brothers. So suddenly, yung EA envelope, naging EA kit, naging EA bag, naging EA luggage. So, picture ni Margaret Thatcher. Sasabihin niya sa kausap, oh, I met with Margaret Thatcher. Kailangan ready ka doon. Pag hindi ka ready doon, at siyempre, hindi ka naman niya papagalitan kung may tao. Pag natignan ka ng matalim, lumubog ka na sa lupa. Congress. And I remember, may bagyo. In the middle of a storm, pinipilit namin pumunta sa Manila para makaabot dun sa Dong Puno Live guesting ni Boss. Alam namin, anong gusto mo? Mamatay sa bagyo, mapagalitan ni Boss. Plane crash, mapagalitan ni Boss. I think... The choice is clear. The reason why we all stayed, aside from making a difference in the country and in other people's lives, is subic and the camaraderie that we have is making a difference in our lives. There are just some things that are more important than money. Uh, that's friendship. That's family. And that's love. We all have to work with passion because without passion, we will just be robots and um, and we also have to work with love because without love we will be working miserably and the most important kind of work is where you are happy and I was happy then when I was a Subic volunteer and I'm happy now now that I'm the chairman and administrator of Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority.